Hey guys, it's Quickly again with another ROM review and this time I'm very excited to bring you guys the Resurrection Remix ROM by Nisoni Ash from XDA for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Resurrection Remix ROM, now as you already know, there are a lot of versions of Resurrection Remix. There's Nice Only Ashes Resurrection, there's Zenity release, there is the Black Mix version, there's the official version. So yeah, there are a lot of versions available, but this one is my daily driver. Why? Because there are a lot of things which goes on for this ROM. Let's get started with the ROM now. First of all, let's go to the About Phone page. In the About Phone page, you can see RROS version is the latest one on 2603-2017. Uh, Resurrection Remix 5.8.2, so that is really cool. All that is amazing. Build type, well, it is an unofficial version. Uh, maintainer, as I've uh, already said, is nice on Ash on XTA. Devices OnePlus 3, uh, it is also compatible with OnePlus 3T. It is Android 7.1.1, which is also pretty cool. The security patch level is March 5, so that is the latest version available of the security patches. Kernel is the stock Lineage OS, which is slightly modified for this ROM, uh, which is basically the stock Lineage OS ROM, uh, kernel, so nothing special there. SLN status comes enforcing, but I have changed it to permissive for FP calls to work, so that does work out very well. Now, let's get on with the features. This ROM is the feature king of OnePlus 3, for OnePlus 3 right now, and I believe for any ROM, any phone, there are, this ROM is available for a multitude of phones. I'm just going to give you guys a guest of it. If you want to check that out, I will be making a uh, features only video for uh, Android basically. Uh, but I'll be using this ROM as a subject, test subject because this one has all, almost all the features available on the Android space. So I will want to make that. Just a rundown of things. There is clock customization, battery customization, weather temperature on this status bar is available. Icon pack all, can also be changed, which is pretty cool. Carrier label settings, system UI tuner with the Wi-Fi data and uh, Wi-Fi arrows. Uh, do not disturb power notification control status bar option view VLT icon can be enabled and this is by far my favorite view VLT icon on the status bar because it really does look pretty good notification panel can be customized so you can also have no notification views so that is pretty cool uh, quick setting shades can be customized task manager is available on here so you do have task manager you remove applications from here if you don't want that so that is pretty cool also power menu dialog and notifications are available a uh, kill app button can be in the notification recent buttons are available you have selection for the AOSP style recent slim style recent and omni switch also which is pretty cool quick setting customization is available you do have all of these and even weather option layout is another favorite of mine because it does give you an option for small quick setting uh, number of tiles rather than just making it scrollable I don't really care about scrollable quick tiles because I don't use that much but I would really like to have this and this matching because I normally keep seven for both of them so uh, that is really cool to have I really appreciate that apart from that lock screen options are available you do have a uh, fingerprint unlock and you don't you never need to put in your password even after restarting the phone so that is really amazing feeling gestures are available for uh, all of these options Button customization is available and you do have a double tap the power button for camera, advanced restart, all of that is available, even keyboard cursor control and playback control using the volume keys. Toast icon customizations, uh, power menu customizations, uh, interface settings, you do have blur uh, personalizations, uh, ambient display customization a little bit more. I would like to have the double tap on the ambient display to wake up the screen because that is gold. I really like that. Dashboard customization is available where you can customize that. Pretty amazing. Heads up customization. Uh, screenshot share take full screenshot or have a partial screenshot all of that is available miscellaneous options are available you can even disable enable or disable in call do not disturb if you are in call it will uh, switch to this mode so that you your phone will not ring in the middle of a conversation so that is available it does have delta updates which i will be talking about in the later stages uh, wake clock blocker headset options suspend action has been ported into this one which was available with aosp extended and uh, i'm really happy about that i personally don't use it but still being the king of uh, features uh, i really like to have this one also so yeah here is where you can customize the SDN status to permissive or enforcing so there is available now this uses magisk 
uh, root manager which is pretty cool um, I normally use super su but this has been uh, pretty good for me I really like it it also has uh, OMS support which is substratum so that is amazing that's work out very well display settings all the uh, CM features you will be expecting uh, ambient display available pocket mode uh, hand wave is all available as soon as wake up pickup is available and that does work out really well so let's get uh, grading for this ROM first and foremost I just mentioned everything features this one as i've said is the king of features in this space and it is just amazing that how many features are available in this one and uh yeah as you would expect this is going to get the highest score uh till date so that is going to be a 9 out of 10 for the features because this is a sheer exorbitant amount of features available and most of them just work out so that is really really cool now the second thing is battery life and i'm not going to sugarcoat this battery life in this rom is pretty atrocious so you can see i was at 98 percentage and in 10 minutes it has gone down to 95 so yeah that should give you guys a little bit of uh context on what the battery life is going to be Yes, it's a feature-rich ROM. Yes, it is a pretty good performance-oriented ROM. So the battery life is going to suffer. So with the stock configuration with nothing else installed, the battery life is bad. Um, at night, it should have been standby. I got about 10 to 20% of a drain. And the screen on time is not better either. It's uh, The max I got was about 3.5 hours of screen on time, which is not very good considering most other ROMs have at least 4 hours of screen on time. So... Battle life, I'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10 because it's definitely not the worst, but well, it is way, way below the mark. Now, the stability. Um, I have to say that I am pretty impressed with the stability of this ROM, even with all of these features enabled. I mean, there are a lot of features which is going on in here, and uh, the, the, the ROM just flies. I only had an FC issues when uh, changing the DPI setting. Uh, in the interface mode when changing the font size that's the only place I had a FC issue and all, sometimes Pico TTS does give an FC issue but none of them is uh, enough to deter me from the experience of it so I really appreciate that so yeah stability wise I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 now the performance the performance of this ROM is pretty decent uh, I got a score about 145,600 which is Okay, uh, it's not the best, but still it is pretty good. Uh, it is better than most other ROMs, which is in 140s and 138,000. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 just because it is a decent scorer. Now the camera quality, it comes with the RR or I guess Cyanogen uh, camera stuff. It takes a photograph. I never had an issue where I did not take a photograph so it works out pretty well but as you can see the sharpening and all that is way out of reach so you can see there is a lot of uh, over sharpening going on there. I would never had an issue where the camera did not take a photo. I personally use oxygen camera and that does work out very well also it does have HAL1 enabled so you are going to get the HDR auto stuff also in here but again as I've said not the best camera quality the AOSP extended version which I reviewed last time had the best uh, camera quality out of the bunch in the uh, recent ROMs which I've tested so uh, yeah this is not going to uh, compare with that so as you can see again the ISO and the sharpness levels are just not where it should be so yeah back camera quality I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because it is normal for a custom ROM to be not a very good camera biased ROM so yeah 7 out of 10 it is now the unique features uh i really do tr uh, truly feel that this is a unique feature for this rom that is delta updates which is open delta and i never thought i would see the day when some a really feature rich rom like this one which is resurrection remix is going to have delta updates it's amazing it's just freaking amazing i really appreciate that delta updates works wonders because for someone like me who travels a lot i mean i don't have the luxury of uh, having data packages which i can download 500 or 600 megs of uh, rom update this one makes it so small i mean under 100 megs i will have the latest and greatest and i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because I am in love with it so that's really cool the only reason it's a 9 and not a 9.5 or a 10 is that the implementation of open delta is that it downloads the update package it compiles the full ROM and then flashes it 
uh, rather than the Mokis approach where you just have to flash the update feature and there is no option to just download only the update. Uh, you have to download the update through this one and not uh, through any other server also. It may feel like I'm asking for a bit too much but I really appreciate the open delta feature which is amazing. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. Uh, again aesthetically it is a very similar ROM to what you would find in any other one. This is a material design ROM, nothing special here. But the DPI setting out of the box is at 390 and I am a huge fan of that because I like to keep everything small. The what you're seeing right now is for you guys to see better but normally when I use the phone uh, I have the CP DPI setting and the font size to the lowest and uh, that gives me a little bit more real estate and with 390 DPI setting out of the box it's going to give you a lot more real estate with this and I really appreciate that. Also substratum is the thing. Uh, that works out very well. I'm a huge fan of CM theme engine, but I guess CM theme engine is not going to be back for a while now. Substratum it is, it does work out very well, so I like it. Aesthetics, I'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10 because, well, it is better than most. Now comes the overall usability of the ROM. For me, it is a very, very usable ROM. I did not have any issues with it. I cannot compare this to much other ROM because Open Delta support all these features and there were no issues with using the ROM as a daily driver. I'll say this again, I have used this while on travels. I have used this when I was out and about in trains, uh, watching movies and all that. Granted, I did have a custom kernel and I did have a little bit different uh, AKD profiles enabled for that reason. But it worked nonetheless and I'm really appreciating that. So I really like that. So overall usability, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because it is better than most. So I guess that should be it about this one. The boot animation is what you have already seen with the previous versions. I guess all the RR ROMs have the same boot animation. It's a beautiful boot animation. If you want to check that out, do check that out on my previous video. It does work out very well. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Overall score, I'm gonna give this one a 7.8. The math comes down to 7.81, rounding it off to 7.8. That is the score which I'm gonna give this one because it is better ROM than what I have tested recently and it is a it is my daily driver I really really like this if I am coming off as a, as a fan vibe that's because I am because this is such a great ROM so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye